So over here you can see that I am in the desktop version of uh, OneDrive and I have access to my files right here. So whenever you're working with any files on desktop version of OneDrive directly and you make any changes just like this, so I'm pressing Control S to save this Word document file and close it, then what happens is that it actually syncs up and stores a version of that particular file. That means what you can do is you can access previous versions of the file as well. So if I were to go around and open this file, you can see that this is the version that you have right here uh, that is blank and there's nothing in this particular document. But what I can do is I can right click and then go to OneDrive and here you can see that you can access version history of this file right here. Once you do that, this is what you have as you can see. So you can see all of the versions that you have uh, worked with and uh, this is what you have. There's the file um, version uh, that you edited three minutes ago or five minutes ago and so forth right here. If I were to go around and click, let's say for example, this one right here, click on the three dot button, you can download this file separately or you can restore the original file as you want as well. Let me just go around and restore it. And what happens is that it restores out the file onto that original version. It's syncing again, as you can see right here. You can also go around and download it as a separate file if you want to. But I have restored it, so let me just go around and double click it right here, as you can see. And now you can see that the old information is actually here. That is because I restored it to an earlier version. And that is one of the benefits of working with the desktop version of OneDrive as well. Whatever you do gets saved out in versions, so um, uh, it keeps a backup of the file. Uh, as you make changes to it, which makes it much more easy to recover in case something is lost. And that is how you can access out file version history inside of the desktop version of OneDrive. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.